some jelly inside of the fruit. Mm. <laughs> a tour guide from Chiang Rai, northern uh, province of Thailand. Today I have a tr uh, planned a trip that we're going to hike through the jungle because I normally love to guide people on a trekking tour. So today we decided to take a two days one night trekking and we're going to spend the time in a, uh, somewhere just building our own residence and we will explore the nature and enjoy ourselves. So if you would like to come along to join us, very welcome. I believe that we will definitely have a great time together. Okay, if you are ready, we can just go together. Let's go. the rainforest. This is a tropical rainforest. You see how perfect is the uh, nature. When we are here, it's a full of amazing like uh, the feeling is different from the city. It just gives you a special kind of like very relaxing and you just feel like you are away from the chaos and the turmoil in the city. This is a place that you cannot explain how you feel. You can come along with us. Having fun. edible but I'm not sure this one is edible because if the edible one then they fall out fall out from the tree they'll be all eaten by the insect but this one yeah you can still see them all over that's mean it's not edible one I try wow this is the one that it's edible one. Look, I will show you how to eat this. I need to get down here. Wow. When you get lost in the forest, if you find this kind of fig tree, look. Mmm. It's very yum. It's just sweet. You can see. In the middle of the fruit, there's some jelly inside. I open it for you. You see? Close it. Look, some jelly inside of the fruit, and this is why the insect cannot get in. They cannot eat it. So this is especially for monkeys, for some animals who are hungry and they can find some of this fruit in the forest. Hmm. Can get some for her. And it's really nice. Look. It's, a, it's even better than the strawberry because the some strawberry is so sour. But this one is sweet. And especially this, the gel inside is still very special. Very special taste. So, now we are ready to uh, take some, as some uh, food along the way. If you are hungry, see I got some of these banana leaves. 
So we are going to use as the pork container. And I'm going to get some of this some cheese. This one is ready. Good job. Okay, look, there are still a lot of fruit up on the tree, but we will not go into harvest all of them because there are still a lot of wild animals in this park. And this is the meat food. There's no more monkeys, but there are some kind of like small animals like squirrels, maybe wild boar. They might come to pick up this fruit that fell off from the tree and some other animal like rats yeah they also need to be spied from this fruit so let's go Another one is the second floor. That one is even more beautiful. Did you see that one? You don't want to leave. The place is nice for chill out. It's a really good place to come for relaxing. Okay, so here we go now to the second one. Another kind of fruit that is uh, found in the jungle. This one is quite acidy. It's called mukbai. It's in Thai name, but not many animals like to eat it because it's very sour. Sometimes human love to eat because human love to eat it some chili sauce, spicy and salty. But this one doesn't seem to be ready. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not monkey, I cannot get them. Probably I need another fish. I need another pole. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, I'm not going to eat it, I'm not going to eat it.
Nó có khấu chưa? Mất lấy rồi. Ừ. Nó cần rồi. This one is it's different from the first type of fruit that we just picked a while ago. Oh my god, it's so sour. Uh, I can't, I can't do it. This is not even animal can eat it now. It's too sour. But when it's ready, it will turn to be a little sweet. And there will be some animals, rat, squirrel, they also like to come and pick them, eat them. Uh, now it's time, move on.
wild grab you see you see the leaves of of this plant is a vine see when they bear the fruit it looks very similar like the grape but very sour so this is the wild one they grow in uh, the wild is in a rainforest tropical forest and look at this beautiful it's not flower but look like flower it's a kind of nut you see the pot is very colorful orange reddish orange when I'm a child I always cook this seed you grill it in the, in the fire and you eat it and it tastes amazing like nut some animals like squirrels they eat these nuts so it's so beautiful and it's part of the nature that hardly you can find elsewhere because of today a lot of people try to clear up the car there's no more in the other part of the Oh, look at this fruit. Uh, yeah. This is all fruit of all wildlife, especially the wild boars. Wild boars, they love hide away in the daytime, but late evening, they come out to find something. And this one, it looks like flowers. It looks like flowers, but not open. But when you open it like this, actually, contains inside of this some uh, very sweet juice and the test the texture is it's very uh, good for filling up for the animal see this wild pig they really like I don't know how they call this but it's part of the wild the fruit in the wild and the pigs eat everything good smell sweet but sometimes it could be acidy cooking on the tongue if you eat it but for animals it's okay doesn't bother them yeah this is what we learned the tree is quite big you see and the, the fruit is, is full of uh, fruit on the tree all the grass so it takes a couple of months for the pigs to so get fit with this uh, fruit. Probably not a couple months, sorry. Maybe only a few weeks, about one month, for them to get over. We might get lost in the farm and we probably don't bring enough food. Yeah to cook and eat for survival. You can probably find the bananas or fruits or maybe use even the trunk of the young part of the banana trunk. But this also something if you don't know and you lost in the forest, this is also can be some, some kind of like a shoot from the wild kalanko. And this can be also way on the fire and, and maybe cook and pound up with chili sauce and you can eat very very uh, tasty we're going to have these for our uh, dinner this evening okay so that is your job to care okay
chili doi chili pe chong noi cho ande noi ya su to su ke tu cho cho noi no ka 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 ju bu ton je ma din ne a ti su ka ka ji ma ka ko ne se se yong no nya ne te chao ko ti ko che bu ne mo ti o ti yo mo so zong chi o mo so zong chi o su ke cho chi o mong tu long te ma lai chi te cho te no no ka ko ho ô có thì chỉ xe đi phong rồi à ô giờ rồi tôi mới đi ta cho nó chọn chạy chứ thì chỉ xe đi đi kia phong rồi ô cho nó khác chưa để nó khác nào có gì không có gì không lắm nó chỉ xe đi ó nó xe đi mà số xe đi phong à cho nó chọn chạy rồi nó đi ta cho nó đi cái này có xe mình chưa có đúng không Okay, after we hike on a lovely trail and through the tropical rainforest, we made a beautiful waterfall. I hope that you all enjoy the uh, uh, beautiful waterfall that we just visited. But now, I feel like we're just getting hungry and it's going to be lunch time soon. So we are just running out of our energy. So I think now it's time for us to start work, to cook our lunch. But we, we did not bring anything like cooking pot or rice cooker along with us. No plates, no dish, no spoon. So we have to try to uh, find out how to cook our lunch in the forest. Yeah, sh see, we have only the backpack with some uh, rice and, you know, food. But we don't know how to cook it. Okay, I have an idea. Look at this huge bamboo. This is the kind of rainforest bamboo. They are quite big and very useful for the hill tribe people. They can use for construction, building their house, and also can use them for several reasons. Okay, so we're going to settle somewhere here and start cooking our lunch. It is a very good site. Look at this beautiful uh, forest. It's nice and cool. It should be a nice location for lunch, okay? almost ready for our lunch cooking and see we have already prepared this fireplace we found some of the firewood and we already prepared it and it's almost ready for a started fire and see this is for uh, just to uh, hold the bamboo where we roasting the foods as we are cooking and now you can look at our food that we brought with us today and it's going to be a two days one night trekking so we don't bring a lot we just bring some rice protein is a fish we didn't catch it from the river around but uh, dad just catch it from the uh, she caught it from the market <laughs> before we left <laughs> however um, but this is what we we got along the way yeah you will see that along the way dad just went into the uh, stream and uh, she tried to collect something and that was this vegetable but this some of the uh, spices and herbs that we uh, also got them from their market see 
uh, this Korean and uh, uh, this is basil leaf and this is a pala we call it we don't have it in English and yeah some of the Thai herbs that we use for the fish cooking and um, what else lemongrass yeah, all of them lemongrass. here lemongrass here kalanga yeah kalanga is also part of the uh, spice and ingredients that we will put in the yeah to get a bit of fish when you cook them and for breakfast yeah this is for lunch and we also going to cook something of this for uh, dinner but then we we're going to have some breakfast see some a drink oh coffee you can have like of coffee tea and um oh this is chili one of the very special see some salt and dry pepper ha ah, shrimp paste this all will be uh, some spices and uh, ingredients and season for our cooking during are we doing the trek in the jungle okay so this will be a great fun and delicious yummy food that we will cook along the way all right now i think it is time for me to get some bamboo and then that can start to uh, fill them up in the bamboo and start to cook okay you ready Now, um, here you can see that we're going to, we are just cooking. This is the normal steamed rice, the white, the plain white rice. So we don't, have, we don't have much process. We just uh, put the grand little rice in for the bamboo. And then we just fill up water. Then we just put these leaves, cover it up. So pretty simple. And we wait till it boil. And then the water dry up, then it's done. But we also have the sticky rice that we cannot do the same way. Um, we are going to use see two part of bamboo. The first part, you see. We have the joints between them and uh, it is not, it's hollow but it's not going all the way through here. You can see here closely in here. You see that it's not go all the way through and we have to uh, fill water in the first part, the first can. So we just put the sticky rice up here. So this will uh, stand in the uh, rice steamer, sticky rice steamer. And when the hot steam coming up from the first part, it will steam the rice up here. So we will get the sticky rice cooked from this part. Okay? So, so firstly, I have to uh, make a hole just to break this joint with this uh, stick. Okay? So I got a hole. Okay, so I just broke this joint with the stick before and now it's a hole. So this two uh, part of bamboo, now the steam can come up through. But when we put the sticky rice in, we need this piece of woven bamboo. I just wove this up and this will be uh, placed between these two part of bamboo. So um, when we put the uh, grains of the sticky rice, the sticky rice will not going to fall down into the water and they will just be in the upper part so when the hot steam coming up they will get cooked and they will be just like the home the uh, uh, rice steamer at home okay I will just put this down okay now it's ready for fill in some water and then sticky rice Oh, here I found some water. Look at this. We don't use this for cooking, but this water is only we need a steam, steam from this water to cook the rice. So uh, it doesn't matter. 
it doesn't matter it does it not need to be very very clean okay Now after we are quite busy uh, setting up the ki kitchen in the middle of nowhere in the jungle and now we're going to uh, prepare the table for our lunch so I'm gonna make a bamboo table okay this is gonna be the floor and you see how I made it Table four, okay. So you have to clean up here. Okay. Now, suppose the sticky rice is already done, and. Uh, Dad is trying to peel the hard part of the bamboo out and to make it thinner so we, we can peel by hand for the rest of the bark out then we will we will get the sticky rice cook it inside so after we have been working very hard I've been waiting for the sticky rice to be cooked and you can see that we have this two part below is water and then we have this uh, upper part is like a uh, it's like a sticky rice steamer. You see, this is uh, what we already got in sticky rice. And after we peel it in open, now we got sticky rice. And it's quite similar to the one that we cook at home. Yeah, so hot, hot. Okay. Now you see that we open it, and then you get. It's pretty nice. It just looks like uh, the sticky rice that we cook at home. See, underneath you have the bamboo set here, the bamboo that we make. We weave. See? The steam can come come mm. come through there. Now it's time to eat. All of the food's just ready. But we still need the chopstick for yeah, spoon. But today because of the sticky rice and normally we will use our hands, but we will still uh, use the chopstick and we'll make some chopstick for the uh, lunch meal. Okay, so now our lunch is ready. See, this is the one that is. It's also fish with some of the vegetables that we collect from the uh, uh, river, the uh, stream, and along the way that we hike up. And this is the fish that we grill. It looks so nice. Look, all the herbs inside of this tummy, all of the uh, uh, basil leaves and other spices and. Uh, uh, herbs, lemongrass. So we have to separate this stuff. This one is the normal steam rice, and this is the sticky rice. So they all look so nice.
Okay, so after the delicious meal, lunch, and uh, because of we are around in the uh, jungle, in the forest, so when we make any like, fire, we have to make sure that we uh, can put out the fire and take good care of the fire. And it won't be any problem for the fire spread out into the uh, wild and burn up the uh, forest. That's why we have to uh, make sure that there's no more fire left. That it can cause problem to the forest. So this is the end of our lunch cooking and our uh, our trip for uh, the rest of our trip will be uh, we will starting to uh, hike a bed and then we will start to build our shelter for uh, overnight residents. Okay, so this is the time that is it getting a little late and I think we're going to um, probably we need to settle here tonight just to build our residence, our shelter. Here look, there are some trees here and we think it might be fun if we will build our house up on the tree and uh, yes to be safe from some of the insects. We don't know what will the uh, Wildlife here that can be dangerous to us, such as scorpion or centipedes. So we better stay up on the higher place, okay, on the trees. All right, sh shall we work now, okay, to uh, catch some of the bamboo and then we start to build our um, residence. All right. It's almost halfway. So we think one more hour, this will be complete. No, So uh, now is the time that we're going to uh, build a roof. But the roof of our shelter, we will build it like very temporary. So we use just the leaves of the banana. <laughs> All right, now we get a few more leaves to be enough for our shelter, our home, our simple home in a jungle. Look at our house roof. It's just just the temporary one. We don't want to destroy the forest, but the banana tree we can cut it down, but it can grow up very quickly. So this is focusing on uh, cooking. 
Ah, oh, look at this. Where's the cap? Come on. Woo, this one. See? Perfectly good. This is just made by me, okay? I just cut and I make this. See? And then, what we're going to do is we're going to cook the egg in there. <laughs> See the eggs is in there will be cooked by the heat from the underneath uh, the fire. Okay, this is our dinner time. Look, we maybe some uh, eighty percent of our uh, residents, our shower has been uh, complete. But we still need another 20% from the wall of the house. And um, this is our dirty dinner time. See what we have here. Okay, we have some sticky rice that cook in the bamboo. And then um, eggs that we uh, cook uh, also from the bamboo. And this is what we have here. We just got uh, the banana flour. Yeah, this is one of the food from the jungle. We just uh, collect it and then just burn it with the, in the fire. After we get it well burned, and we peel the uh, outside, the shell, the uh, cover outside, and we just use the, the uh, very young part inside. We just pound it up, yeah, pound up the chili and salt and yeah, some whatever, yeah, season and spice. So this one is going to be like flour of banana. Dish, huh? with some chili. Let me try. Okay, how is it? Taste like. Mmm. Mmm. This is really amazing. Really, really tasty and good. When you are in the middle of nowhere, this is excellent food, you know. And um, see what we have here. This one. Uh -huh. This is the shoe. The shoe that we, we picked up along the way is the, the young uh, Kalancho shoe. See, we eat this way, like this. Mmm, yum. Okay, so it's time to eat that. It's time for our dinner, okay? So, thank yeah. you for cooking dinner for us. This is our temporary resident. You don't have to worry about a feeling or traffic feeling. Because we need the smoke to come in, so we will keep the mosquito away. Okay, so now our simple home in the jungle is ready for us to stay tonight. So yeah, we are going to have a peaceful night today. Tonight. So, see you again tomorrow morning. Okay.
Good morning. This is just very early in the morning. I think we uh, sleep quite okay. It's not wonderful like the soft mattress at home, but it's wonderful with the nature and the sounds of birds, uh, crickets, bugs. Well, um, we are so uh, glad this morning. See, we're going to have our breakfast soon, and we will be need to move on very soon because our program today is so uh, long. There are a lot, a lot for us to do and explore uh, today. I'm sure if you follow us and join us closely, you will have a great fun together with us. Yeah, a lot for us to do. So now, we will start our breakfast. See, this is what we are cooking here. Um, um, what is this? Uh, you know what is this? It's a bamboo tube. If you feel water in there, it's like a, a water pot, it's like a castle. And we already boiled some water in here, so I'm ready for coffee. And Dad's making toast, but look at her toast. <laughs> so funny. Uh, we normally uh, toast the, some uh, bread, but she toasting the um, sticky rice. And we normally need to keep some eggs from last night. We need to have some eggs. So we have to uh, make the, the, the sticky right dip in the egg before we toast. But we ate the, all of the eggs up last night. So you have to eat just the toast. I don't know. She's trying to make toast, but it doesn't seem to be working. Okay, now our breakfast is ready and see, we have some coffee and Da has uh, hot chocolate. Yeah, and we, we normally should have some eggs, but because of last night we, she didn't know she cooked all of the eggs, so she didn't keep any for the, for the morning. And we have some uh, breakfast with our fruits that we collected yesterday in the figs. And we, we, along the way that we walked down from the waterfall, we had some uh, plums that we collected from the Chinese uh, plum farm. It's a plantation orchard. So today, if you're following us, you will see how amazing is the lunch. And the way back to the uh, back to the city will be uh, amazing. We will. We will not let you know until you just keep following us and you will see how will we get back to the city, okay? That will be a, a very, uh, uh, like a, a surprising view. And if you follow me, you will know that we will not going to go back the same way, okay? A different way. So if you follow us, you will yeah, enjoy, yeah, get us the, the trip back. 